So uh, follow me with this. Uh, we'll not go too deep into it. Just follow me with what 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 we would be doing. Let me first remove going around this circle and all. We'll not need that. I'll also remove this part over here. Uh, maybe set pen size to 10 is okay for me at the moment. Uh, okay, but first let me remove that also. Uh, XYZ is fine. Um, my costume should be back to the cat. And I'll change the backdrop of this. And I'll make it white again. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's white again. Right? I don't need this right anymore. Uh, let's increase its size. Okay, let's say uh, 100, a normal one. But I also, the thing that I want to do is I want it to draw me a line. But I also want to follow a clean slate position. That is, whatever it does, it should always come back to where it has started. And that is fine, right? I want it to draw me a line. So how do we draw a line, right? So let us first, and I want to draw it going from down to up. So for that, we need to make it face up. That is zero. Like this, right? Then we want it to draw a line of a given size. So how do we do that? We need a pen down for it, obviously. So we go to pen, we say pen down, right? Then we go to motion. Let us try doing this. Let us say 100 steps up, and we also say 100 steps down, right? And what we'll have is we have a line. It, let us put this in our stepwise condition and let us see something interesting coming out of it. Okay, let us skip this. What I'll do is I'll put a structure. I'll call a block and I'll call it uh, a pattern maybe. And as you know, if you want to make it conditional, you know, stop, it is going to take a step parameter. And then what I will do is I'll also possibly take a size parameter. You know the size, right? The value that I'm trying to move here, this 100 is, is what my size is. Now, how do we start? We go to control and remember the uh, structure. It's a very important structure to keep in mind. Uh, if step is equal to zero, for that we need to put an operator. If step is equal to zero, right? What we used to do earlier is we not used to put anything in the if block here, but let us put something now like this. And this is my size. And I also want to do uh, get him back to where it started. So as we discussed while drawing the circle, this is going to be zero minus the size. And if I call my pattern and pass the value, uh, pass the step as zero, it should draw me that line. So let us quickly try doing that. I have my pattern here. I'll say zero. And uh, uh, let's say size is 100. Right? So yes, it, it draws this for me. Let us actually move it slightly down, maybe somewhere like this. Uh, minus 126 is the position. Minus 126. And we have a line drawn here. Now what I need to do is let us look at what happens at step one. Actually, nothing will happen. There you go, nothing happened. What I want to do is I want to draw a line and then I want to draw two branches to it, but a slightly smaller size right, of than this. So what should I do? Should I just put this code again? No, that's not what I would do. What I will do instead is I'll call the pattern again with the previous value for the step because when this is one, the one previous value given that is zero and it will draw me a line. So let us quickly do that. Yes. So we say pattern, we say, let me use op, uh, operator, ask for a previous pattern. So since we are drawing for pattern with step one, what is the previous pattern going to be? It's going to be with step zero. And that's going to be a line for me. So step, minus one, and I'll also keep the size same for now, okay? And yes, as you can see, I already have the line drawn to me. Now let us quickly draw the branches. How do I draw a branch? 
as soon as it goes up so it will draw this part for me but now i need to draw a branch from this point correct how should i go about doing this it has this particular thing has got me where it has started so i need to move the same size again on top correct like this size and i'll be on top now now i'll turn left by let's say 30 degrees like this and i'll call the same pattern again right so this should draw me a line facing this side this looks good this looks really really good okay and i'm back where i've started now i wanted to wait uh, wanted to look at the other direction so if i say rotate by so currently it was rotating left right so now rotate right by 30 again what does it do oh it's facing straight up so i need to rotate another 30 so 30 plus 30 is 60 like this and let me call the same um, uh, pattern again you know like this so step minus one and also get the same size down here like this and there you go i exactly got got a tree back it's looking like a nice tree structure right uh, let us uh, get him back for that i again uh, what do I need to do to get him back? Sorry, I don't need this also. So I have moved 100 steps, uh, move size steps here. That is why it is at this point. I will say move 0 minus size, right? 0 minus size. Because I had moved by that much, I come back by that much amount. Oops. No, no, that is not what I wanted, right? It should come straight down. And that happened because it was facing in the wrong direction. So if you see, it was facing in slightly towards the right direction. So when I asked him to come back, it came behind by the same, uh, from the same direction. So I need to make him look up if I want to get him down. So how do I do that? I'll say, rotate left by 30 degrees. And yes, it is looking straight down. And now I will say move and come back. Right? This looks fine. The branches look to be like almost the same as the shit of the tree. That's generally not the case. Let's reduce the size of the branches. Right? Uh, so, what we'll do, is let me take this out. Let me take this out. Uh, let me go to operators. Let's quickly say divide by maybe two or maybe one third. Right, uh, size, size, and let us divide it by uh, uh, what should we say? If it uh, divided by two, it will become uh, half. Let's say divide it by three. Oh, it became too small, right? So let's divide it by two. Uh, just want them to be slightly above, so one dot eight maybe that might do the trick. A uh, little bigger, maybe 1.5. Yeah, this, this looks a bit fine. Now, what is interesting about this, you might ask, right? Uh, why did I put this? I could have easily done this just by drawing lines here. The interesting part is what happens when I start to increase my count of patterns. So if I say two, this is what I get. If I say three, I get this and let us try to see what happens uh, what i'll do is i'll run this without screen refresh and i'll continue increasing my step size right with four i get this with five i get this with six get this with seven looks more like this maybe with 10 There you go. And as I probably increase this, probably if I sort of maybe actually increase this value, it would probably look even more healthier. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take 
that much value. So I think what we did earlier was good, maybe 1.2. Oh no, it was it's just too bad. Just play around with it. Yep, looks like a nice tree at the moment, isn't it? Um, what we would do is let's try to get the cat a little lower, maybe not minus 126, but maybe 130. Right, it's, it's still going quite up. Uh, not exactly uh, as for what we wanted. Maybe just have it as step eight. Yeah, that looks good. Or actually, can move the kite down. Maybe one forty. Even I think it can go still down, right? Maybe let's try one sixty. Yeah. So uh, this looks good. Let us also try to do something interesting, right? Let us also try to. Uh, change the pen size. So let's take another, so just like we are reducing uh, the size uh, uh, of the branches, let us also reduce the point, uh, the size of, uh, uh, the size, I think, the pen size of the branch. So what we would do is let's take another parameter, add it, and let's say pen size. I don't remember, I think the pen size was 10 at the moment. So let us always say, that uh, at the start of it, we would always take the value of the pen size. So set pen size to pen size. And possibly if I pass one, it looks like this. If I pass two, uh, that's also okay. If I pass three, pass five, you know, if I pass 10, Oh, the problem is uh, I'm not passing the pen size anywhere. So let's quickly do that. Yeah, five. Yeah, sort of looks like this. Let us let us do one more interesting thing. Is let us also try reduce the pen size as we go along. Right? So for the first line that we are drawing, maybe this is fine. But let us try and reduce the size of the pen by again, like you know, by one by four and see what happens over here. So we use operators and we divide by the same amount. So we say pen size, pen size, 1.4, 1.4, and let's say 10 here. Okay, uh, but this was with the step eight, maybe it's step 10. You should see something more, right? And this is without screen refresh, by the way. So if I probably do 14, it's still drawing. It will keep doing this. So uh, maybe I can say something like 11. And I'll get some uh, interesting tree like shape. This is already looking like a tree. So yes, there you go. Uh, play around with, with different set of values, with different uh, sizes coming along. Uh, we'll probably make uh, pretty interesting patterns out of it. Uh, th this concept is called as rectals. Uh, but the idea is pretty simple. All it tries to do is it tries to make a shape. And then it uses that shape, reduces its size, and build another shape using this previous shape and tries to follow that. Then you again, whatever shape you get, you reduce its size, uh, use it to follow the same number of steps and build the same shape again, and so on. And eventually you have shapes made of itself. It's like, you know, uh, you're looking into the mirror kind of stuff. So you have the same shape, smaller size, same, same shape, smaller size, same shape, right? And, and you get this pretty, pretty interesting patterns out there. Just play around with different values. Uh, this really get interesting sometimes. You can give one uh, uh, value at one point, another slightly bigger value in another end, and, or you can give one angle at one step and another angle at another step. Just, just play around with different values. Maybe we can try instead of saying 30, we can probably say uh, 40, in which case this would be 80, and this would again be 40. And this would look slightly different now. As you can see, so maybe I can then uh, uh, sort of 
uh, reduce this by whatever the other amount is, maybe 1.1, and it will look a bit thicker. Yes. So enjoy, uh, uh, practice this uh, uh, shape. Uh, and there are multiple, many other shapes that you can draw. But for now, I think uh, practice is something you all need to do. So give yourself that time, practice what we have just done here, and also try out your various other shapes that would come to your mind and see for yourself how it works out. All right? Thank you and good luck. Got it?